I'm so tired today. Oh god, look at those bags under my eyes. <laughs> so there's like some... Okay, there's like some weird bird that makes a very strange noise all the time. I don't, that was a very irrelevant statement. Did you hear it? I need tea immediately. You guys, breakfast today is sauteed potatoes. And again, with the bacon that I didn't eat yesterday, but everything else was scary. I feel like somebody dragged me from my bed last night, threw me into a safari, ran me over with that like jeep cart type of thing that they always drive in safaris and then a herd of elephants just trampeded all over me and then they picked me up they put my i don't know my body back together and then back into my bed and then i woke up and i don't remember any of this but my body does this is how i feel this is what's happening. Oh my God, these stairs literally murder me every day, several times a day. <sighs> now I'm gonna get ready for the day. Yay, school. So I forgot to tell you guys that I have a roommate. Last night when I was trying to fall asleep, I looked to what was my left at the wall and I saw some sort of insect of the UK and I killed it and now it's just living with me. Look how cute it was. It's so beautiful. It was probably some like exotic form of mosquito that I don't have a vaccine for. It probably would have killed me. It's fine. I just like slayed a dragon. I'm so talented. So today's lecture is about the universe. It's called the hospitable universe, I think. Um, next week, my main course is about the universe, so this will be like a cool sneak peek to see what I'll be learning all next week. It's at 9.15, right now it's 8.45, so I think I'm going to go grab a water bottle because the tap water here tastes like toilet water, and also everything here is just like lukewarm room temperature. Like nothing's cold, which is unfortunate, so I'm gonna go get a cold water bottle because I'm dehydrated. <laughs> I spy a straggling, random cucumber. Hey, Jenna. Guys, I have a new friend. Her name is Casey, but she's being shy. <laughs> this is her. She doesn't want to look, but whatever. Jenna's back. Emily's back. Elena's back. <laughs> Casey's still being shy. Stop covering your face. <laughs> it's going to be 88 degrees today. Are you oh, ready no, to actually, sweat? You know actually, it's going to be 90 degrees. What? They just yes, changed it. I love sweating through my clothes. It's gonna be <laughs> Look at this, friends just coming together. Oh, okay. I don't think they've room. spoken before okay, this yeah, encounter, yeah, yeah. but here we are. The vlog just brings people together, guys. What can I say? By the way, that's Casey, because she's not hiding now. <laughs> we get a sense of how these galaxies are moving relative to our own. And so this is the speed with which the galaxies appear to be receding from us. And although there's lots of scatter here, there's a pattern. The further away a galaxy is, the faster it's receding from us. The further away a galaxy is, the faster it's receding. And these are the measurements that Hubble had at the time, 19, in the 1920s. And they're not very convincing. Or at least you could draw this line kind of here or here. So let me give you the modern ones. The reason the Hubble Space Telescope is called the Hubble Space Telescope is that one of its first jobs was to refine these measurements. The first lecture of the day was hard. <laughs> we were all so tired. It was an interesting topic, but it's just, it's literally, he was talking to us about everything we don't know about the universe. And that's just like such a heavy topic for any time of day. So. Good morning, Nat. Hey, hey. <laughs> I stepped in a fun tag in my foot a little bit. What? I stepped in a fun tag in Why? my room. I don't for what? <laughs> like how? I don't know. I was walking. I was sitting. I guess I got on my sandal and I was like, "What's cool? Can you handle?" I was like, "Oh my god!" 
my bleeding. Yeah, so I had to go get like sanitation stuff so I don't get like a tetanus. Oh my god, what a night you had. I know. The night before that I dropped my keys in the toilet. So I had to get the poor man who works the overnight shift to go get them out for me because I couldn't get it. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Fun fact of the day, don't have these with you. Yeah, business cards. Yeah, business cards. First of all, why are we in the dark? Oh, we can't. There we go. Okay. okay. Business cards aren't a thing. Yeah. yeah. In Australia or the you UK. Don't need them. No one has jobs here. <laughs> yeah. What? Like nobody has business cards. It's very interesting. We asked. Well, Emily asked someone for a business card, and he was confused. And then. Do you guys have business cards? Like you? I don't personally have a business card because I am not a woman of business. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. But like, if will, someone, <laughs> but if somebody does anything, like immediately, if I were to make like a literal YouTube channel, I would make a business card. Am I right? Really? Yeah. I'd be like, so watch my channel, and I would just hand it out to people. No way. Yeah. That's so strange. God, America, we're just so up to date <laughs> with our marketing. <laughs> Look, another thing they spell differently. Hummus. We just say hummus in America. We're not fancy. Well, I mean, I think this is the same word. I could be wrong, actually. Hummus. It depends. Different ways. Really? Yeah. I think there's like, you can do like H-U-M-M-U-S. H-O-M-M-O-U-S. So what's this? Is that yeah. hummus? Yeah. I've never seen it spelled like that I've never before. Seen it like that. Okay, so this is a UK thing. That's hummus. <laughs> yeah, that's hummus. Hummus. <laughs> so something else that doesn't exist here is Gatorade, which is very hard for me because anyone who knows me well knows that I live for Gatorade. Maybe that's why I'm so dehydrated and used to having unnecessary and electrolytes being pumped into my body. And now I don't have any of that. No, I'm sorry about this. I'm just having trouble getting the uh, getting my computer linked in. So you've got some handouts now. Invasive species of mussel in the River Thames in two weeks' time. Um, and we're going to go. We're going to jump in the river. We're going to take handfuls of mussels to try and measure their distribution. Measure how they'll basically be coating the entire River Thames. And so we'll be taking them out. But because they're invasive species, we're not allowed to dispose of them. So We'll basically freeze them, like bring them back in bags, measure them, put them in the freezer, and then dispose of them as biological waste. And for the first time, I think it was last week, two weeks ago, I got asked to limit the number of muscles I would take based on an analysis of how many I needed. That has never happened to me before. No one has ever said, you need to limit the number of these invasive species that you take. Because they're invasive species, no one cares about them. But ethics has now got to the point where I've been asked to justify um, how many of these invasive species I take. I didn't actually say I would limit them, but because I said actually they destroyed the environment, so I'm doing them a favour. Give me a break. Um, and so, but that was for mollusks. Um, and again, not many people generally sort of have ethical concerns for mollusks. But more and more studies of animal behaviour are subject to ethical. What? You guys, I fell asleep in class. <laughs> Second day and I already fell asleep. <laughs> it was just, uh, you know, I felt it coming the whole time. So I knew it was going to happen and I just put my head down and I passed out for like 20 minutes. And then um, when I woke up, the professor was laughing and <laughs> Shawnee poked me and I was like, oh no, I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's a jet lag. So this was just an adjustment. <laughs> Alina is signaling me to come. She doesn't want me to vlog anymore. But anyways, yes. Already fell asleep in class on day two. Killing it in Cambridge. So I just picked up a French brie and bacon panini. I don't know like what this is. I don't know what French brie is. I'm like a little bit afraid of it, but I'm starving. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> I'm just so hungry, you guys. I need to eat it. Because I'm holding up the entire crew. Take your time, guys. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Just taking in all the attractions? <laughs> totally.
you should uh, be able to figure out uh, which tissue is what. And then if you team up in groups of, I don't know, three or so, uh, where, uh, have a look through the microscope and, and see, see what you can find out. And, and then, right yeah, and one of you comes out and writes it on onto the board. Um, just figuring out so, sort of the um, the normal tissue type. Yeah, just use, looking at the slides A, B, and C. Yeah. Hello, everybody. We're leaving the Gurdon Institute hey, hey. Um, like, of yeah of just stop. cancer research yeah, or is it just science biology? I don't know. Bio science. Bio. Intelligent go. stuff. Question yeah. mark? <laughs> Science? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we did that, and now we are on our way to the zoo. Is it a museum? Playing zoology? with little animals, I think. Yeah, we're going to a zoology yeah. presentation of sorts, and there's going to be animals. Spiders. Spiders and hedgehogs and... We want to die. Snakes, <laughs> yeah. Woo. So exciting. Hopefully we get to play with them. Yay. Yay. I animals. hope so. Yeah. And in fact, there are more beetles than any other species or any other group of animals. And so the first arthropod that I'm going to let Chris introduce you to from Zooland is this beautiful creature. And I'll let him introduce you. Hello, sir. Her. She's very long living. Uh, however, that's only because she's a pretty dead skin off my feet. Uh, so some people will spend lots of money to have fish nibbling on their toes. I got cockroaches. Not quite as glamorous, is it? There we go. Excellent. Uh, is there any questions at all about tarantulas or cockroaches uh, before we continue with uh, our journey? Okay, so the salamanders, and I very recently saw one of the rarest ones known as the Sicilian, which is a long snake-like amphibian, uh, which is a subterranean species, which I was lucky enough to come across out in Sumatra. Um, what I'll do, I'll very quick fungus, which is spreading uh, around like many tangled. populations, and it basically clogs up the pores <laughs> in their skin, meaning that they can't respond easily in worms. But of course we don't, so reptiles are a strange group. Um, but we've got a few reptiles to show you, so we'll bring these round simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I, when I travel to different parts of the world, I, I generally look for snakes uh, because I find them particularly fascinating. Um, so you can really name any type of snake, chances I have. I've been lucky enough to come across one or catch one. Um, in fact, these trousers that I'm wearing at the moment are snake proof trousers. Uh, so if I was bitten from the knee down, his fangs can't put, pass through this material. It's actually the tightest knit material that human beings can make. It's the same material that NASA used for the crash mats for their Martian robots. Uh, but that may well protect me uh, from dying one day, who knows. Uh, but by next bit paranoid in Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm the snakes in Cambridge before. Anyway, right, so my, Guys, this my, is great my, content. Uh, my next reptile um, is uh, called Snowflake, and he's uh, probably one of the rarest uh, reptiles you're likely to see. Um, he's a New Caledonian giant gecko. This is the largest species of gecko in the world. Um, he's about five years old, but he will live up to the age of 60. Um, out in New Caledonia, where, where they're native, uh, they're known as the devils in the... Um, he is uh, not an animal I often bring out um, because, uh, it, well, first of all, he's, he's very rare and uh, I don't like to disturb him too much. I have, um... but he feels very much like velvet. The longest venomous snake, of course, is the king cobra. That will grow to about the same size as this skin here, so you can imagine a cobra as big as that. That's an incredibly dangerous snake. You know, what did you think? <laughs> I love them. I want to get them all. You want all of them? <laughs> How do you feel about it? Not too great. <laughs> no, that was cute. Yeah? I touched a hedgehog. How do you yeah. feel about this? That's amazing. The snake is the cutest. No, I didn't touch the snake. She was scared of the snake. She yeah. ran away. I'm oh, afraid of snakes. snakes. We held the snakes. Yeah. <laughs> no legends. We did it. <laughs> Thoughts, feelings, concerns. It was really good. Yeah? I love animals. You liked all of it? I do. Were you afraid of anything? <laughs> no. They're so cute. Good. <laughs> when the frog jumped on you. Okay. <laughs> Jumps on me. But it, George, he's so innocent. <laughs> so for some reason we thought that everyone was going to go to the botanical gardens. Botanical or botanic? Botanic. I the botanical. Okay, whatever, to the place. So we walked all the way there, which was like 15 minutes. Actually, it was like 20 minutes, honestly. And we got there and then they all were like, yeah, we're not coming. And we were like, oh, great. So now we're walking back. We lost Joy, um, Elena, and Nat because they're gonna catch a bus, I think. Yeah, I think so. But we're just so fit that we're gonna walk because like, why not? Also, it's only a few blocks, so whatever. So that's the update. Check back later. <laughs> 
Well, look who decided to show up. <laughs> Thank God for these instructions. I never would have figured it out. Hello, so I'm back in my room. I'm super shiny. It's just like that glow you get when you travel the world. It's not sweat, what are you talking about? Anyways, I'm about to FaceTime my brother, Tommy. <sighs> Haven't seen his face in like three days. It feels like so much longer, it's crazy. And then dinner soon. The days feel so long here, but they're also very busy. Like it, it, it's just like, I don't know. I do so much in a day that I feel like it's several days in one. It's weird, whatever. I'm exhausted from having no AC, I was dead yesterday. I went to like a 10 early for me. So Muffin went to Ebby's Bowl, Effie went to Muffin's Bowl, and they both had dinner. I was like, honestly, whatever. They ate each other's food? But the way they did, like, I made both food, and like one walked over, they both walked over <laughs> to the bowl, and they, like, it was like perfectly planned. I was like, whatever. Whatever, guys. Not, whatever you want to do, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> so they, they ate each other's food, so they ate. Great. It's dinner time. I change my clothes, like, four times a day because it's so hot here and there's no air conditioning anywhere so I just sweat through everything not really I just feel gross and like sticky by the end of wearing an outfit for a long time so now I just have on a tank top and some sh like it apparently it said somewhere not to wear shorts to the dining hall and these are shorts but it looks like a skirt so I'm basically just like the queen of deception I'm a sneaky little American I don't wear skirts though so like whatever this is close enough I just I don't think they want you wearing like jean shorts, so I think I had to change. I'm just justifying it. Whatever, I'm going to dinner, shut up. This has gotta be the most awful noise ever. I hate walking downstairs in flip flops. It like echoes. Oh my, oh my god. Guys, I forgot to tell you. So, the starter was a Greek salad, which of course I don't like, so this is just sitting here. And then there was a garden salad. It's literally so plain. I loved it. I used malt vinegar. Why do I? Okay, bye. <laughs> this is my dinner. <laughs> Like Oreo cream? We had dinner, and then I came back to my room to relax, and I, I don't know, changed my outfit for the 17th time today. And I've just been doing a little bit of coloring to relax me, because I'm a bit of a nerd. And in a little bit, I think Jenna and I are going to check out the campus pub, I believe. That's it. Just like, I just always look shiny, you know? Just like all the time. I am shiny. People should start calling me shiny. But that should be my nickname. Yo, Shiny, what up? No? Alright, whatever. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> With my British accent, I should definitely just yeah. adopt the culture. Just adopt it. Oh. Where are you from? I'm from here, what do you mean? I'm what you want about? Cheshire, that's where Harry Styles is from. Oh my god. <laughs> You're such a directioner. I'm really not. I just, like, <laughs> I just like find this stuff out all by accident and then it makes me seem like a bigger fangirl than I am, although I do have every single one of their albums. <laughs> She's a fangirl. She's just in denial. Funny story. I would like to beat up Zane. What happened? So Tell he us. decided to leave One Direction on my birthday. Oh, then my he decided to. Yeah. And um, 
for my for my Christmas gift, my mom, well, one of my Christmas gifts, my mom got me One Direction tickets. And guess what? He left One Direction right before I could go see him in concert. What kind of an animal? And then, a year later, this year, he decides to drop his solo album on my birthday. So a year after he leaves One Direction. So that was just wasn't like, that like a gift? No. I would like to kill him. It was it was like rubbing salt into the wound. So you left. don't like his solo music? I, he has some good songs, but his album isn't good. He's so hot though. You heard it here first, you guys. <laughs> he's, so, he's so hot though, I can't. He is, this is true. So he's like, he's my little Arabian prince. <laughs> have you tried your beverage? Yes, I have. Let me try it again. <laughs> I'm just blown <laughs> It's one of the better um, wheat drinks. It doesn't taste like this on cardboard. It's a little bit more beer-like than I was expecting. They probably have cider too. You can get that after. Which is like... Right, so I left the campus pub with Jenna, and I met up with Nat, Elena, and Shawnee. And we're going somewhere called The Basement. Apparently it's on campus. So it can't be that bad, but it's called The Basement, so... I feel like it's gonna be sketchy, but <laughs> I guess we'll see. You guys, we found the basement, and it's actually not that sketchy, but it is like a basement. <laughs> I was scared, you guys. You were like, come to the basement, and I was like, am I gonna get murdered? <laughs> I don't trust you guys. <laughs> you Aussies. But it looks like someone lives here because there's an open Sprite bottle, there's sunglasses over there. What if someone's just asleep somewhere? You F it, am I right, ladies? What is this? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Something you're supposed to say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. This is cute. It's squishy. That's a detergent. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, a real adult. <laughs> so <laughs> We're having a party in the basement. <laughs> I'm DJing. <laughs> Obviously, Weezer's playing. I'm the only one up here, but it's fine. I just like to be above, you know? The influence. Did you see me with alcohol? No, ma'am. Not in this house. You know, I can balance these. Do it. Hang on, give her some. What can you do? She balance on the finger. You're lying. Oh my god. You're such an acrobat. Wow. Joy kicked me off of DJing duty. She said that my music wasn't party enough. We were listening to Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Tell me that's not party enough, Joy. I don't know what you guys do down in Egypt. Where is Egypt? Is Egypt down or up? Down? All right, down in Egypt, but in America? Nirvana is the shit, bitch. Just kidding. I'm venting about how I was fired from DJ duty. Why were you fired? Because Joy said my music wasn't Joy said my music wasn't joyful enough. No, <laughs> she said it wasn't party enough. Oh no. Joy. She was like, "Do you have party music?" And I was like, "This Nirvana is party music." Nirvana is party music. Yeah, man, she gets it. The Aussies get it. <laughs> Aussies always get it. They're amazing. You, you get everything. You get all the things. Oh, totally. <laughs> You guys, RC Sizzle, say your name. Hi, my name is Nora and I go to RCC. Woo! <laughs> I'm coming up, so you better get this body started. I'm coming out, I'm coming out. <laughs> yeah, Shamika, work it. What, what, what? <laughs> Noor! 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 This is Medwin, Cambridge, 2016. What up, bitches? Yeah, I'm from Westchester. She's from Rockland. What up, She's bitches? Egypt! Egypt! Egypt. <laughs> Got another Egyptian in the house. Hi! What up? Introduce yourself! Um, I really don't know my name, but... Wait, no, what's my name? What's oh, your name? Shantae. 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 Yes, and I, and I go to WCC, and I'm in Cambridge in London, and I'm Five Days in Kappa, and I belong here. Yeah, girl, work it. Do you guys want to say anything to the fans back at home? Hi! We miss you, we love you. Come to Egypt, say thank you so much for all the support, you guys. Like, I really appreciate the sponsorships I've been receiving. United, United, United States Navy in the house. 
Nori. 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 Friends, family, strangers, people I've never met. I'm going clubbing tonight. <laughs> Not sure what this entails. Joy's pressuring me. I'm pressuring her. What a joy she is. I've made that joke two times tonight. I need to stop. What exactly does clubbing entail? What? I don't know. Because it's like midnight. I don't do this. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't do this. So I'm in England. This is true. I'm not. I'm not Ali Cooper anymore. I'm Ali Cooper. Ali Cooper, maybe she goes out at midnight. Apparently she does, because this is what's happening tonight. Oh, it's oh. very dark out. Oh, no. I'm not coming. You're coming. I'm not coming. You're totally going. Okay. And I just want to tell you all to be safe. Make good decisions. Don't do anything that you wouldn't do in front of your parents. I'm kidding. I know, I'm joking. Bye, Bye. have so much fun. Bye. See you tomorrow. Guys, I'm in the darkness, but I just wasn't feeling it tonight. I'm tired and I'm hungry and just not used to this lifestyle. Gotta ease my way in. Can't just, you know, it's like I gotta dip my toes in the water, get used to the temp. I can't just go diving and like doing flips in the air. I'm like, geez, who do you think I am? I'm not that spontaneous. Okay, so it is now midnight. I'm back in my room. I just washed the filth off my face. Now I'm gonna unwind, eat some chips, talk to some pals from home, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. And that's it. Thanks for watching today's adventures. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.